fantasy. It wasn't real. It started out with Thomas More, uh, even went back to Plato's Republic, and then Marx adopted it as his worker's paradise. And in the film, we show that modern socialists adopted this fantasy as a realistic model of today's nation state. And, and it's failed miserably every time. And, and, and by the way, as I said, it's eugenics based. Plato's the father of eugenics. Uh, and of course, eugenics goes back to the Greeks. And he said, kill all the poor people and only let the elite breed. But then he said, no, just actually dumb them down and control them like animals. And so Plato is the master, even today, 2,400 years later, of so much uh, that the world has seen. I wonder if Plato is proud, uh, wherever he's at, of uh, Mao Zedong. Well, certainly uh, the utopians of the modern era who murdered a hundred million of their own people in peacetime, trying to mold them to fit into this perfect world, uh, are the evidence that the entire thing was just a fantasy, it wasn't real. But progressives have taken this model and they're conducting a war on the mind, a war on humanity to force us to fit into their uh, utopian ideology. And traditional America, the traditional family, the church, Anything that's a middle class traditional America supports reality, free market system, the Constitution. So the progressives want to destroy that, whether it's bringing over millions of illegals or bringing over people that have Ebola. They want to attack the core traditional society that will never buy into this utopian nonsense. That's right. Let's play the clip, the utopia definition. Progressives' main agenda is the creation of the perfect future, utopia. Just like the president always says, we move towards making things better one little step at a time. Everything is seen as a step along the way. So you like my t-shirt? I got it off of eBay. I like it, yeah. Yeah. That history is a continual progress. The evil fantasy of progressives that they can be as gods and recreate the world and make it a better place. That's clip number one. Now let's go to progressives in history. Uh, tell us about this clip, Joel. Okay, so here we hear uh, David Horowitz is gonna talk about the progressive methodology to murder people that have ideas in their own head. He talks about how, for instance, the Cambodians uh, murdered everybody with glasses. And you'll hear Oprah Winfrey, you'll hear a female voice, it's Oprah Winfrey talking about what she thinks should happen to Americans uh, in the South. Let's play it. In Cambodia, the communists killed everyone who had glasses. Because if you had glasses, you could read. You were educated. You have to do something with the people who have the bad knowledge in their head. So we're going to start with a clean slate and just create new human beings. It's a very evil idea. In the South, there are still generations of people and they just have to die. They just have to die. The most evil atrocities of our time have been committed by utopians in power. They think that they are the divinity. That's why they're so dangerous. That's why they kill so many people. It really is true. They are the ultimate bold control freaks to say what words we can use. Don't say the word bossy. Michelle Obama said she's going to tell us what to eat. And they really believe it. They tell Africans, you can't have houses and cars and air conditioning as Obama is, you know, they're like an imperial god or something. They just have no shame. Who are these people at, at, at their core? At their core, they are profoundly misguided and also they are profoundly egotistical and uh, narcissistic. That's they, it. See them, they see themselves as the gods on earth. If they create a utopia on earth, they can be God. God is in heaven reigns over heaven, so they see themselves as the divinity on earth. Now, who is the enemy of God? It's the devil. So anyone that opposes God or anyone that opposes them is evil. That's why they call Republicans racists and all these horrible names. Worse than ISIS. Worse than ISIS, uh, because you're opposing the one true God on earth. Uh, this is who, this is what they, they want. And if you stand in their way, just like Obama's mentor, Bill Ayers, uh, said in the 1970s, they wanted to put 50 million Americans in re-education centers. And kill, and, and kill 25 million. And kill 25 million in the Southwest if they didn't go along with this utopian society. So the scary thing is this has been tried and failed so many times. 
Yet today, the Democrat Party has been taken over by these radicals. That's right, and they're licking their chops for blood. At the bottom of the rabbit hole is their narcissistic wish to kill everybody. Ugh, sick. This winter, next to water and food, you need a safe, storable fuel supply for your preparedness needs. Spare fuel is the answer. Unlike gasoline, spare fuel can be safely stored with your other supplies for many years and works in any gas-powered vehicle or backup generator. With the bitterly cold temperatures predicted for this winter, now is the best time to stock up on spare fuel. So go to GetSpareFuel.com. That's GetSpareFuel.com. GetSpareFuel.com. News flash. Home invasions are on the rise. It takes less than 10 seconds to kick in a door. 10 seconds is not enough time to protect your family. And what would happen if you are not home? Easy Armor is the ultimate security solution. 85% of break-ins are through a door. Protect your home now with Easy Armor. Go to invasionstopper.com to get real security for under 70 bucks. That's invasionstopper.com. Easy Armor. Your security is our only business. Mike Stennerson for Midas Resources. At no time in history have precious metals been more important, certainly not in my 22 years in the industry. The dollar has lost over 90% of its value in the last 60 years. No fiat currency has ever survived the government printing presses. Ours is not immune. The time is now to be proactive. 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. Anything tied to the dollar is at risk. CDs, annuities, 401ks, IRAs, stocks, bonds, you name it, so decide. Do you want to leave a legacy of wealth or debt for your family? The choice is yours. Call me at 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. That's 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. Be proactive, not reactive. Call 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a Block It Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. All on subject to OnDeck score approval must be in business at least one year to apply. Are you a small business owner who needs working capital? At OnDeck, we can help. We focus on your business operations and cash flow, not just your personal credit score. And we're ready to help with loans of up to $250,000. True business loans, not a credit card advance. On Deck provides financing to hundreds of different types of businesses like restaurants, auto body shops, healthcare, and service providers. So if you've been frustrated by the paperwork and long decision times of traditional lenders, see why so many small business owners are turning to On Deck for the funding they need. Call now and speak with an On Deck funding specialist. Our simple application process takes just minutes, and funding could be available in just one business day. On Deck has an A plus Better Business Bureau rating. We provided over a billion dollars to businesses. So if you're a small business owner who needs financing for your business, visit us at ondeck.com or call us at 800-325-6384. That's 800-325-6384. Waging corruption, crashing the lies and disinformation. Joel Gilbert is our guest going through clips from his new film that everyone should get. In fact, my copy's over here. There's no place like Utopia, a Joel Gilbert film. And it does a great job of showing the nightmare that is any type of so-called collectivism done on a mass scale. Collectivism works great if it's totally free, voluntary and in a village. In fact, they've written books on the subject. 
Even socialists have written books on the subject and say, it only seems to work when it's small and local and people you know, vote, but bigger than groups of 100, it doesn't seem to work. It starts breaking down. That's because corruption sets in and complexity gets involved. We're, and, and his film gets into that. But beyond that, with Stalin, Lenin, Hitler, Mao, all were collectivists, all were what you'd call progressives, all believe in the power of the state and centralization. They just want raw power, black uniforms, secret arrest, rape whoever they want, take whatever property they want. It is a criminal ideology of control freakdom driven by narcissistic, psychopathic, borderline personality disorder weirdness breathing demonic life into the state and then you're really in trouble and it always wrecks everything in its path it always creates desolation europe is collapsing everywhere socialism has come ends up collapsing ruins families ruins cultures ruins just just everything but it gives the scum an ether to swim in this is a short segment long segment coming up uh, tell us about the wizard of oz why that's the big angle in your film and we'll play this clip Okay, The Wizard of Oz uh, shows how socialism and progressivism relies on a cult of personality. Like this godlike figure will take care of you and do everything for you. Mao Zedong, uh, Che Guevara, Lenin, uh, Stalin. They tried to create from Obama this uh, cult of personality character, just like The Wizard of Oz, the wonderful wizard will do everything for you. And Michelle Obama was part of that in 2008, uh, telling people how great Obama was gonna make your lives better. So let's play the clip. The Wizard of Oz begins with a tornado. And it's the disorientation. Everything's topsy-turvy. That's the kind of event socialists like to create, where you feel you've lost control. Things have gotten worse, and you can't get a handle on life. Grown to be a nation that is afraid of everyone and everything. Fear of one another. I I'm so tired of fear. Help! Save me! It's after me! It's gonna get me! Okay, well, then you land in Oz. You say, oh, we're glad you landed in Oz. We've got a wizard here. He can solve your problems. So we need you to be courage, to show courage. The wizard will give you real courage. Because he's special. Barack is one of the most brilliant men you will meet in our lifetime. This wizard knows everything, he can do great things, and all you have to do is give him all your support, all your money, all your votes. And we need you. Barack can't do this without you. And life will be great, you get to go down the yellow brick road. That says it all, and they know that they're formulaically following what Hitler did, what Stalin, Mao, Pol Pot, Fidel Castro, Hugo Chavez. It came out in the news, and I've been told this by folks that live down there, that they have to pray at school for breakfast and lunch to the government, to Hugo Chavez. And they have public TV where you pray, and you go, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be Hugo Chavez's name. Thy socialist kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. These are just total whack jobs. But the, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, well, Ronald Reagan had a great quote that the only places that socialism does work are in heaven, where they don't need it, and in hell, where it already exists. <laughs> and and what they do is they use this godlike figure to manipulate naive people, people that don't know better. And that's why we see today that the entire Democrat Party program is based on disinformation, fooling people with ideas that the rich people are keeping them down, that the rich people don't pay enough taxes. They make up all these stories to manipulate uneducated people. And that's the, the beginnings of the demise of a society when they get enough people to follow along, they can impose this socialist hell upon them and then use the tools of state to suppress any opposition and control all of the assets of the states for themselves. We've seen it a million times. And that's where we're headed. We're getting the police state. We're getting everything that goes along with it. And it's true. The Democratic Party ha has just gotten wildly radical, really communist. They right. use all the same lean forward, all this Marxist stuff. I mean, they mean business. Yeah, even the, I saw an advertisement for a guy running for, a wolf running for governor in Pennsylvania. His entire program was the middle class 
uh, are getting screwed by the rich people, and he wants to fight for the middle and lower classes. Their ideology is a class-based society where people vote their class. And that's why they love racism, that's just another form of class. Let's break that down straight ahead and ask, why do so many billionaires fund this then? We're on the march.